there's not a moment that's the same. Everything's different and I never know what I'm gonna get and just seeing the kids every day and what they have to say and what they have to give and do is what keeps me coming back every day. He makes us watch a video every morning about like motivations for the day and um, sometimes he wrote he writes quotes up of these giant sticky notes and he hangs them up so we can look at them and motivate ourselves. I just I set them up for success in the morning and we go from there. Interesting. This is my 18th year and this year I turned it into them. They just set goals, they talked about their successes, they talked about their failures, they talked about what they need to get rid of. And it's interesting, if I don't do that in the morning, my day goes sideways. We're doing state testing this week, and he helped us a lot last week by doing, they're called cat tests, where they're like practice tests, and he helped us a lot with doing the practice tests to make sure that we get it for the real test. Mr. Blanc deserves to be Teacher of the Year because he's just, he's really nice. He helps his students enjoy what they're learning about. The best thing about being in Mr. Blanc class is um, the quotes above the door and how he changes the subjects from boring subjects to fun. The moment when that kid that you didn't think could do something and you didn't expect all of a sudden they either get it or they've worked as hard as they can work and you know they've worked as hard as they have worked and you can see it in their eyes that they feel good about themselves, whether they're the top student or maybe a low student. When they get it, whether it be success or whether it just be trying hard, that's it. It's that look. I think Mr. Carpenter should be Teacher of the Year because he's helpful, he's kind, and he helps and he helps out everyone in the classroom. He's a really nice teacher, and I think he deserves Teacher of the Year, and that he hopefully he wins more and more. He should be Teacher of the Year because he's a great teacher. He does everything so calm, and he makes sure that everyone's okay with what we're doing. I think the best part about teaching is the opportunity really to unleash the potential of my students. I find that students have this, what we've been studying is mindset, and they have this fixed mindset about what they can achieve and what they can't. The mindset is where, if you have a fixed mindset, that means um, you need to fix how you are thinking, and a growth mindset means you're on a roll. I think the best part is letting them realize that they have these hidden potential, so-called hidden potential. It's there, they just don't, they don't acknowledge it. I like best is when, whenever we have discussions because like sometimes we have debates and like sometimes like one person looks wrong but like he teaches us that it's okay to be wrong. Well he's really great and he lets us do fun stuff when we're trying to learn and which I like because when he teaches us life lessons to help us understand we get it and we start getting those good grades. When we are disagreeing, one side of the room gets to go on one side and the other side goes on a different side and we get to tell the other side why we disagree with them and so we can find out who was right or wrong. My discipline system with that is nurturing that uh, and fostering that desire to be the best they can be. I think Ms. Castillo should be Teacher of the Year. I think she deserves it because she's never screamed to anyone and she's super nice. I motivate my students to succeed by working on their intrinsic motivation. Um, this is something that I do on a daily basis of talking to them and letting them know how important it is for them to be successful to prove to themselves. I think Ms. Castillo should be Teacher of the Year because she's such a great teacher and she's nice. Um, no one is afraid to ask questions and people can trust her. She's super nice and she's been my favorite teacher. She just makes me feel like like very confident and very, 
Very good inside. I also set goals for them and they work on setting up their own goals, goals with me, both you know, math and reading. Together we monitor their goals, we monitor their progress, and it gives them that when they get to see how close they are to meeting a goal or to, you know, reaching a level that they're they've been, you know, they're aiming for, they get that excitement and they push their, themselves even harder. Uh, what I like best about being in Miss Castillo's class is that she always explains everything and like she'll like take however long it takes to like let you like know it well. She's very patient with us and like she listens to us. What makes my teacher be a such great teacher is because she's very patient, calm, and she really helps us a lot when we need it. When you make the curriculum engaging and interesting to them, it makes them want to succeed, it makes them want to accomplish the task and dig in deeper to whatever you know the curriculum is, is trying to teach them. Ms. Castillo is very kind and patient when I'm stuck in a problem. When I teach and they have those aha moments and they understand a concept and you get the, oh, I get it. That is what you know, I love about teaching.